welcome to this week's Sligo County Matters. Coming up on today's show, we're going to meet the wonderful country singer Margot, who tells us about her career, which started in 1964, her life and the extraordinary bond that she has with her family. But first, we're going to Riverstown in County Sligo. We're going to the football club Arrow Harps, who are celebrating their 40th anniversary, and they're going to tell us about the exciting things they have lined up for the year ahead. Gus, we're here at the Riverstown Community Park and we're here for the Arrow Harps soccer team. You're one of the founding members. How did it come about? Well, it all came about. Uh, there was uh, the local school teacher at the time, which was Paddy Kelly, the Lord Wrestling. Uh, he was mad into soccer and he, uh, he was wondering why there was no soccer around here. It was a, a staunch Gaelic area. But uh, Paddy was uh, involved in, uh, we'll say, in it. it it was Sligo Rovers at the time, and he used to travel the country to see them. And uh, he, he came from Eastkey, and one to, uh, the, the, back in seven, 1974, uh, Eastkey was running a soccer tournament. And Paddy asked us one Saturday night in the local pub, "Would we be interested in putting in a team just uh, just to fill it?" And we says we would. And so three car three carloads of us went over the next day to Eastkey and we played in the tournament and that's more or less where it started off from and then there was uh, other tournaments around at the time and we thought we, we went to them we won nothing but we went to the games anyway and you had no football pitch at that time no so where did you practice we we trained in the local hall and we used to, if it was a good night, we'd uh, someone would drive in front of us out the road and we'd go for a jog out, uh, out the road for a mile and come back again. That's now what we used to do. And you obviously have seen massive changes in the last 40 years because you've got this beautiful um, pitch here with the lovely astro turf and everything like that. So it just grew, did it, Gus, over the 40 years? Yeah. Um, yes, it grew. The, the local pitch here uh, was like was was developed and all that and there was no dressing rooms when I was when, I, when we used to talk out we, it was in the back of a car or under the hedge over there and uh, it's great it's great to see that and I hope all the young fellows of today appreciate what they have compared to what we have because they wouldn't do it today what we done I, I don't think anyway well Gus thank you very much for joining us today <laughs> thank you all right walk it out walk it out Kieran, you started here at what age? I started playing for our harps when I was about 11 years of age. And how long did you play for them for? I played right up underage, up to under 17, and I started playing for the senior team. Then I played for the senior team for the following five or six years. 
That is fantastic. And now you've come back, so you've come full circle. Uh, yeah, that's right, yeah, I've come full circle. I've come right round and managing the senior team now. I was given the, the task of putting a, a senior team together because we have some great young players coming through the underage setup here. Um, we decided to put all those young lads that have come through into the senior team. And I was just wondering, there seems to be a great relationship between Sligo Rovers and Riverstown. Am I right in that? You are, Claire, you are. Um, we've got all the Sligo Rovers lads for the last four or five years. They all come and live out here in Riverstown. And uh, they abso absolutely love it. And they come down here and the watch our games, the senior games and the watch our underage games. And of course, we've had Joseph and Doe has joined us this year. He's playing for our senior team now for the last couple of weeks. And uh, he does do some coaching as well here with, with the kids. So, um, yeah, it's been fantastic. It's great to have them about. It gives, it, gives, uh, it gives the kids something to aim for that they want to go and be part of Sligo Rovers as well. And I'd say Joseph and Doe is a bit of a hero here with the kids, is he? He is an absolute legend. He's a legend. They love having him around. And... Uh, a player with that experience and knowledge, having played at a World Cup and he's won leagues and cups and trophies galore, and the amount of knowledge and experience that he can pass on to those players at all age groups here, not just the senior team, but right down to the, to the kids at nine and ten years of age, they're going to, to learn from him and, and develop and hopefully maybe replicate some of what he's achieved in the game. And Kieran, to keep the club going, you have a calendar. Is it a topless calendar? No, Claire, I'm afraid it's not. I don't think anybody would want to see um, us Arrow Harps uh, committee members topless <laughs> on a calendar at Christmas. I think I might put them off the turkey on Christmas Day. Well, if you got some hot Sligo Rover players now, I'm sure you'd sell a few calendars. But anyway, tell us about the calendar. Well, what we do with the calendar is we sell ads on the calendar. We get people to sponsor the, the calendar and we have about maybe 65, 66 places on the calendar so 65 businesses roughly sponsor us for the calendar every year and it's a major fundraiser for us and it gives the, it gives the club some valuable funds. Well it looks like you've done a great job with 220 players in your club and a fantastic celebration for 40 years so thank you very much for having Sligo County Matters out here tonight and I think we might come back and visit you when you're doing your barn dance, if we may. That would be brilliant, Claire. We'd be delighted to have you. <laughs> and I hope you can spare a dance for me on the night too. I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, well, I have an empty card sheet at the moment, but you'll definitely be down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm looking forward to it. It should be a great night. It seemed like the entire population of Riverstown and the surrounding area came out to welcome home the victorious Sligo Rovers team, and in particular, local hero John Kenny, whose father looked forward to Rovers participating in the European Cup Winners' Cup. I don't see any reason in God's love. Why we don't do it to San Pedro and why we don't do it to Arsenal, what we did to Delhi yesterday. For John Kenny himself, it was a night to remember. I expected a, a nice crowd, all right, but when I got there, the, just the tears ran down my face. I couldn't believe it. The support I've got all week previous, I got cards, phone calls. I nearly won a secretary last week for all the well-wishers, and I'm just glad that we could bring the cup back to Riverstone for them tonight. They were brilliant. You started off a, a big soccer career here at Arrow Harps. What age were you? That's right. I played all my underage football up through the years with Arrow Harps, and when I was 20, I went off and played with Sligo Rovers and was fortunate enough to win a treble with uh, Rovers in 94. And how many years did you play for Sligo Rovers? I played for five seasons with Sligo Rovers. My God, that was a long time, wasn't it? I had since with other clubs after that. And what age did you start here at Arrow Harps? Uh, I suppose 10 years of age, all the way up to 18. And did you have a talent, a spark? Had somebody spotted it before you got into Sligo Rovers? <laughs> it wouldn't be for me to say that now, but I was just fortunate enough to get a chance with Sligo Rovers and very thankful to have got it. And now you're, now you're here involved in the club, but when you were finished with Sligo Rovers, you went on, you came back here? Yes, well, I went to, I went to New Orleans and Finn Herbst for a while and then I came back here playing with the senior team and after that I got involved with the youths, helping, uh, coaching them. 
And do you see any players now that just have that extra special something? Do you see many of them coming up? Oh, there's some great potential in the club. We've over 220 youngsters playing football between boys and girls. and There's some great talent there at the minute. But it's all about getting a lucky break as well. When you started at 10 years of age, were there many girls here? Um, no, possibly not. No, There's a lot more uh, opportunities for kids now than the time I was growing up. And isn't it fantastic for the kids to be able to come here? When do they train on a Saturday morning? No, every, just two or three hours every night during the week that there's different age groups on. OK, well listen, thanks very much for joining us and telling us about your story today. No, no problem, thank you. John, you have a very exciting year ahead because you're celebrating 40 years of Arrow Harps. But one of the main things you're doing is a book. Can you tell me about the book? Absolutely. The book is kind of uh, the culmination of our kind of our 40th anniversary year. Um, it's kind of going from kind of how the club was formed, um, our kind of a roller of honour over the year, our successes and achievements over those 40 years, and also kind of picking out the characters of the club and seeing kind of what their famous his or their their famous moments were and their 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 worst opponents, best opponents, that type of thing. So, hopefully, it, it has something for everybody. Um, the, the book will be launched in mid-July, so we have the FEI in Riverstown to launch the book, so hopefully John Delaney will launch the book here in mid-July. That's fantastic, and it'll be a very important part of families' histories, won't it? Because I'm sure you've grandparents and children and their children, do you? Absolutely. Um, one, one thing about the book was to... To, there's new people in the town here, there's people that have grown up with the club, but we just wanted to make sure that everybody knew what the club was about and, and what it's been about from its very inception was to, to give soccer to people of the area since 1975. Um, if we look, just from doing research on the book, we have pictures of families from the area and we have brothers playing and sisters playing and we also have generations coming through now at youth level. We have 220 odd, people, odd youngsters playing at the club now. So we can see the generations coming through now. So it's absolutely fantastic to see that and, and bring that all together into a book. But it's not the only thing that you're doing this year. You've got some really, really good plans. So tell me about the Maybank holiday weekend. Absolutely. We have, on the Maybank holiday weekend, we kind of have an end of season fun day for the club. So we have a past versus present match of the, the current crop of senior players who are going to play against a crop maybe from 10 years ago. So we'll have the likes of Johnny Kenny on show. He'll, he'll come back again to play in that match. And, and then we'll have another match as well between just people who come down to play soccer, uh, not not in any structured league or anything, but just come down here on a Monday night or a Thursday night and they'll play against each other. Um, all the proceeds will go to charity. And you also have a barn dance. Absolutely, we're going to have a kind of an Arrow Harps gathering event. So we hope to have that in, in August. So we're, we, we'll, we'll have that in the folk park here in Riverstown. It's a, a fabulous facility and hopefully now we can we can get everybody, all our Harps people back in the year of our 40th anniversary. Well, thank you very much for talking to us and we'll be back to see the book if we may, and good luck with all the celebrations this year. Thank you very much. Well, it looks like they have a very exciting year ahead at the Arrow Harp Soccer Club in Riverstown County, Sligo. We have to take a break now from Sligo County Matters, but please come back after the break because we're going to have a very interesting and intimate conversation with the wonderful country music singer, Margot. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. 